Hi there, it's Chris Hamilton here with Sales Tip a Day, www.salestipaday.com. Thanks for viewing, I appreciate it. And I'm going to go over four technologies that you need right now for your investor relations. And the purpose of this is to learn how to leverage four different technologies so that you can generate investors for your company. I've gone out, I've talked to a bunch of IR people. I've uh, you know mentioned what are some of the frustrations. So I've taken a whole bunch of different things and pulled them together to help out uh, anyone that's in an IR investor relations position to help them find uh, investors. So institutional uh, and also um, you know individual investors for your company, and also create a mechanism for you to uh, keep in contact with these people and uh, give them information. Because one of the things that I heard when I went out to the marketplace was the fact that you know publicly listed companies have a very tough time uh, figuring out who they've actually raised money off of or who they've actually got invested in their companies. And this could be an excellent way for you to be able to start identifying these people and create a database of them. So the problem, as I say, you know, potential investors come to your site um, every day. The problem is, is you have no idea who they are. You could have multiple people visiting your website, um, but unfortunately, you know, there's a, a lot of companies that don't layer in any of these technologies. They can't tell who these people are that are coming. So you can't tell if there's an institutional investor coming or an individual investor, what they may be interested in, how to engage with them, how to turn them into uh, a known entity. Not only so that you know who they are on your site at that point in time, but also figuring out who these people may be later on down the road that come to your website as well. So the solution what we look at is, you know, I'm going to show you how to identify some of these institutional and individual investors and to continually keep in contact with them, create a database, try to figure out, you know, how do you send stuff to them, keep in contact, maybe potentially have them invest more, bring other investors in, so on and so forth. So we're going to start with the four technologies here. The first one is leveraging live chat on a website. And realistically, when I say leveraging live chat on a website, one of the things that you want to do as an investor relation uh, person is to put live chat potentially only on the pages on your website that are impacting the investor relations stuff. So you may have you know, a, a tab on your website that says investors, and then you've got a bunch of different sub tabs underneath that. Sub tabs being, you know, uh, annual reports, word from president or management or whatever, so on and so forth. So, you know, realistically, you can just put it on those pages as opposed to completely across your whole website. So first thing we say is, you know, why not offer live chat? So for a full caveat here, Full transparency on the left is something called Chat Beacon. That is a software live chat solution that I've uh, created for companies. And it looks like that on the right. In this case, the way it's set up on the right is that if someone's going to engage with you, we capture their name, their email, their phone number, and any questions that they have. This is a, uh, the way it looks right now is uh, a way that uh, it sits there prior to uh, someone engaging with you, or else if it's offline, then you can put this up and people can ask a question and get back to them later. Why would you want to actually use live chat on your website? Well, I think you know first thing is you want to be able to answer questions from individuals. People come to your website typically looking for something or trying to figure something out. And industry statistics show that between 80 and 90% of people that hit your website leave without ever coming back again. And the reason being is because they're not finding answers to the questions that they're trying to, uh, to get uh, answered. So this is, you know, it's an excellent time to be able to, to jump in front of these people before they leave your website so that they can uh, ask those kind of questions that, uh, that are required of them. Next thing is, you know, if you're engaging with them, and answering their questions, it's also an excellent way to get their contact information. Collect their names, collect their email, collect a phone number, anything like that. And last but not least is because people are engaging with you and because they are taking the time to ask specific questions, um, this could be a better fit for investors um, because of the fact that you, know, you take time out to actually answer questions for individuals or for institutions um, you know, that they may have. And like I say, it's stuff they may not find 
sitting on the website um, that uh, they need answered that could put them just that one step closer to investing in the organization. So some of the statistics, here's, a, here's some stats that um, uh, go right along with live chat. So 79% of people like the fact that they can get their questions answered immediately immediately, which goes back to exactly what I was talking about before. You know, someone comes there, they're poking around, they're trying to get something answered. If they can't find that information, they want to get that kind of answer. So 78% of people, you know, like the fact that they can get that done. 65% uh, of internet users have used live chat, which is up 50% uh, over a four-year period over the last four years. So it's increased dramatically the, um, the amount of uh, um, users that have actually used the live chat. 46% of people uh, say it's the most effective communication method out there online. And last but not least is between uh, April uh, 2014 and January uh, 25th, uh, 2015, there's been over a 32% increase in sites in the top 1 million websites in the world that are using live chat. I mean, that's a tremendous increase. So obviously, you know, some of the world's greatest or best websites are leveraging live chat to engage with the people that are coming by their their website. Some of the benefits here, obviously, you know what engaging uh, can lead to an investor answering questions. Uh, you know, it, it increases the uh, likelihood of uh, an individual or an institutional investor. You find out the questions and, and and kind of what's being asked. So if you have specific pages that people are asking questions on, you know that if the same question crops up time and time again. That's something you should probably address on that page so that people will actually understand and, and see what it is that you're, um, that you're trying to convey there. And also, um, take a look around. I've done, um, I've gone to hundreds of investors' pages on publicly listed companies in Canada, uh, not necessarily in the US, but in Canada. And I, you know, I have yet to find a single company using live chat on their investor page. Um, I think it's only a matter of time, and hopefully, uh, you know, I'm gonna hopefully open up those floodgates on that, but it's an it's a excellent opportunity to be able to engage or have your IR person in, or firm engage with um, website visitors uh, to do, you know, to do the job, to bring the investors in. So that's the first one. And the next one is the ability to get website visibility or visitors uh, who are coming to your website, I start, you know, figuring out and identifying who they are. Why do you want to do this? Well, first of all, you know, there's once again, you know, people come to your website, 80 to 90% of people that come to your website or companies that come to your website leave without ever coming back again. Um, you can, there is a way to take a look at a portion of these people that are coming to your website. And what you do is, um, there's a small piece of uh, computer code, not to get too techy or geeky here. There's a small piece of computer code that you could put on your website, which will actually start looking at these people that are coming to your website based on what they call their IP address, which will say, hey, this company's coming here to take a look or is poking around your website. The other thing, too, is that interestingly enough is you can run reports and you can see, first of all, who's this company coming? So I, as an example, this is hypothetical. Let's say... Uh, CIBC in Calgary has come by your website and they're starting to look at specific things on the investors pages. Um, you know, you can see what are these, uh, what's, what's CIBC in Calgary looking at uh, specifically and where they're going. The other thing too, you can see, you know, where they're coming from. So which city and everything like that. And, you know, realistically, think of it this way. If you go out and you're given a speech and you know, you're sitting um, uh, across from someone, you find out that someone's from CIBC, you engage with them, let's say it's face-to-face, -face, you're at a conference or something like that. You know, you give them your card. If they, if, if they come to your website, there's a potential correlation that this person that you gave your card to or contacted or you're connected with may be that person that's actually coming through. So this creates a follow-up mechanism for you to be able to go out and reach to these people. One last thing, by the way, that I didn't put in here is you can also see the amount of time they're spending on specific pages and how many time they how many times they've visited your website. So that just starts to help you gauge the interest that people are taking uh, when they come to your website uh, by doing this. 
so realistically, you know, people will come to you can send emails out. People will come to your website. You've got potentially the use of social media. You've got paid advertising on different sites for people to come through. Um, you know, there's organic search results. People may just find out who the heck you are and type it into the search results. But, you know, in this case, now you start identifying who these visitors are, which, you know, before you had zero visibility into seeing who these visitors are. So now you have a great opportunity to start identifying a portion of your website visitors and have that follow-up mechanism. In this case, if you take a look, you know, um, what you do is, is I'm looking down here and there's a company called R.R. Donnelly and Sons out of uh, Illinois. And they came by my uh, came by one of my websites, spent uh, you know a total of uh, you know a minute looking at two different pages, and I found that they found me by using Twitter, uh, which to the right hand side you will see a t.co. So it was a tweet that I put out. These guys found me, clicked on that link in Twitter, and came back through to the website to take a look at stuff. And the neat thing is, it, you know, it tells you they're from Illinois. You see how many times they've been on your website. You see the duration that they spent in there. You see what day they came in and how did they come in here. Do they come direct, which means they came, you know, they just typed in your email or, or um, website address, or were they, you know, brought through some other mechanism as well. So, you know, long story short, as I say, if you've connected with somebody in any of these companies, for example, you know, it gives you an understanding as to, Hey, people are starting to come in and uh, take a look at stuff. The other thing, too, is if you take a look on here, line three kind of down here is Blake and Castle uh, and Graydon, and also line five is the same company coming from Ontario. So I've had them come on two separate occasions on the same day. So very interesting that you start seeing this visibility into uh, what companies are doing. So what are the benefits here? Once again, hey, you get to identify some of these visitors so that you can follow up with them or reach out to these companies and uh, and see if you can get some uh, some traction in there. You see what they're looking at. You can gauge that interest so you can have a bit of a story with someone when you when, when you reach out to them. And then last but not least, you can see how long they're looking at your web pages. Once again, you're starting to understand what's important to this person, what's not important to them. Um, and, you know, if, you know, it just helps you build a story for follow-up with these guys. Here's an example, right? This is a real live example that uh, I'm working with a company. They have about 12,000 visitors to their website each month. Um, we are now identifying about 15% uh, of the traffic that's coming to their website, which is about 1,800 entities. Um, roughly 50% of this was, uh, you know, of the, of the traffic were, were net new, which means, you know, people that have never been there before. And the interesting thing about that is we could discount some of these things off this, but that brings in 900 potential leads for their sales reps to follow up with. This is a company that didn't have any form of mechanism or lead capture or anything against their website before. And now, you know, it's now identifying a whole bunch of potential opportunities for them. So it's, uh, it's pretty exciting what this can actually do for your organization when you truly think about that, being able to identify new companies or companies to follow up with and what they're looking at. The third thing that you need to look at is email marketing. So, you know, here's three different email marketing systems, Aweber, MailChimp, and something called Entreport. My personal favorite um, when it comes to identifying people is Entreport. I'll get to that in just a second and why. Uh, but Aweber, MailChimp, you know, still great, great, um, great solutions for you to email market to. Now, why do I say email market is because if you're sending out investor updates, if you know who you've invested in your company, if you're sending it through your email system, if you put too many people on that list, you can actually be um, what they call blacklisted by your internet service provider who will shut you down. Um, Aweber, MailChimp, Entreport, a bunch of these different services have arrangements in place where you know someone's already uh, said that they've given permission, they'd like to hear from you, and because of that, you know they can send out bulk emails for you. Why do you want to do this? So first of all, you know if someone comes to your website, and let's say you capture them via um, live chat, uh, you get their name and their contact information, their email obviously, and you put them into a, a, an email marketing um, newsletter release. 
um, you know, it gives you the ability to promote news out to these individuals, uh, be it monthly, be it quarterly, be it annual, whatever, or what's going on with the company. Just, you know, keep in contact with your investors. It's a great way to do that. The other thing, too, is it allows you to engage with potential investors, right? So, you know, not only do you have people that you've already, um, you know, that's already invested in your company, keep potential investors informed as, as to what you're doing and what's going on. Once again, you know, find out these people by engaging with them with live chat, bring them in, put them into an email marketing system, and keep on top of them. You know, last but not least, one of the most interesting things is, uh, you know, I look at it as understanding what people like. So, for example, Entreport, which I just mentioned before, if you um, capture uh, people's email addresses uh, via, say, live chat and put them into Entreport, then when you send an email out to somebody and they, and they open it, um, one of the things that it does is it, it cookies their computer, which is totally legal. Um, but it puts a, a kind of a tracking code on their computer and it'll tell you when these people are coming back to your website. And the interesting thing about that is that, um, you know, let's, let's flip this around. Let's say I, I've gone to a company's website. They've cooked my computer. I go back and I start poking around the investor page to see what's going on with that company. What Entreport does, it will alert you and say, hey, by the way, Chris Hamilton's on your website right now. And he's looking at this, 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 this. Um, the neat thing about that is... You know, it gives you a mechanism or you know, alerts you to say, hey, you know, Chris is looking at stuff. You might want to reach out to him. And if you reach out, the first thing I wouldn't do is I wouldn't reach out and say, hey, I see you poking around our website. I would phone up someone. I'd, I'd say, hey, you know, if I, if I look at where they've gone on the website, I would say, hey, uh, just, you know, haven't touched base with you in a while. You know, there's a lot of exciting things going on in our company. You know, per, you know, potentially this, 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 or any of these of interest to you. And lo and behold, because you know what they're looking at, you can turn around and say, holy, you know, yeah, actually this is stuff that I was I, I, I was interested in your company. Can you tell, tell me a little bit more? Sparks that conversation. So the benefits, once again, so you can find out who is looking at what by leveraging something like Entreport. The other two email systems... They'll, they'll tell you who's clicking on links or what links they're clicking on in any of the emails. So if you put a link to a, let's say, an annual report or a quarterly report, if they click on that, you know, those email systems will tell you that they've clicked on it. What they won't do is they won't tell you, hey, they've come back to your website and they're looking at all this different stuff. So that's why I say, like, you know, Entreport, tremendous application to, to leverage and use. Um, and it tells you, you know, it tells you what they're looking at. Um, you can also see how long they're looking at it. Once again, I'm talking specifically to, to this Entreport program, but um, you know it tells you exactly how long these people have been looking at these different um, pages and stuff like that. It helps you build that story. Uh, and once again, because you can, you're able to build that story, you have the you have better ability to follow up with these individuals, understanding you know you're almost per se mind reading what they want and. It's a great ability to follow up with them. Last but not least, we're almost at the end here. So last but not least is a CRM or client relationship management program. So it's, you know, I've asked around to individuals to say like, do you guys have any kind of CRMs, client relationship management um, programs where you're tracking any of your investors? Um, where you know you've got information that's um, uh, one area for the company to go in and understand you know, who's invested or who's a potential investor and what is their history with the company, especially, you know, what have they done on the website? You know, what are they interested in? When have we followed up with these people? When have we sent them emails and so on and so forth? Um, there's, you know, there's a couple here that I look at. But, uh, the top one is called Insightly. The one to the right is Contactually. And there's also uh, Salesforce. My personal, uh, my personal favorites are Insightly and Contactually. They do two different things. Um, as an investor, you know, I, specifically, I would look at Insightly. It's a very easy to use program uh, to put in place. But why do you want to do this one? Like, like I say, track your investors. Secondly, when you put an investor in here, so for example, let's just say, you know, someone's online, you have engaged with them with live chat. Then what you do is, you know, you can take an, our, our system chat beacon 
if you there's a way to push a button to take all that information and put it right into the Insightly or Contactually or Salesforce. So you've got a record of the, who that person is, their contact information, what was the chat history, so on and so forth, and also um, be able to um, you know put that history in place so that you have have a follow up mechanism with them. Um, you know, the other thing too is it helps you manage that whole investor relation piece or the process, right? So it's like, you know, hey, Chris Hamilton um, came to the website this day. He was interested in this stuff. Hey, we know that he, you know, potentially uh, decided to go purchase some shares in the company. Um, let's send him an annual report. We've got a history of that. We've got to send him the quarterly newsletter. We've got to send him the quarterly reports. We've got to send him this. We've got to send him that. Um, you know, you run it through Entreport. And that history can be put into um, the CRM system as well, so that you got a huge running history of who these people are in your company. You know, a lot of the companies I've talked to, a lot of the people that are in the IR position, they don't have that visibility into who's the people, who are the people that are actually invested in this company. Um, I've heard that time and time again. You know what? All of this really helps you determine who's a potential investor or who's invested in your company and have that mechanism for following up and seeing what the heck they like about your company when they keep coming back to your website, when you push information out to them. Last but not least, like I say, we can automatically add contacts into a CRM system with a simple push of a button through our chat beacon software. So, you know, one of the things too is live chat is... Uh, the stats are people are up to 10 times more likely to engage with you if you prompt them and engage with them. So uh, just think about the ability to, to uh, you know, have that conversation with individuals and uh, be able to put that stuff right into a CRM system. So here's the benefits, right? You know, like I say, running history. So if you're, if you're leveraging a CRM or a client relationship management program, you get a running history of your investors or who's... Um, Who's in um, the who's been investing in your, in your company or potential investors? You know the other thing too is that you know by keeping in touch with these people or sending information out to these people, you know that also increases your ability for sales. Use it loosely, but let's say an investment in your company. You know, uh, if you've got a great story and you're telling this story, um, you know you're if you're doing stuff like I'm telling you in this in this. Um, uh, webinar here, um, you know, you're doing way more than any company per se is doing out there right now. So you've got this great ability to get some future investments from uh, the institutional investors, the you know, the retail, the individual investors as well. You know, the great thing is too by tying it into Entreport, to, to, you know, tying it into an email marketing system. Um, and, and um, who is visiting and also, you know, who's visiting your site, website visibility and also live chat. You know, you're getting visibility into the activity stream of individuals that are coming to your website, um, coming back. So, I mean, you can see who are some of the more active people that are engaged with your organization online. One last piece, you know, as I say, chat beacon ties into these different systems, to the, the different CRM systems. Uh, so we tie into Insightly, Contactually, uh, we tie into Salesforce, we're tying into potentially uh, Sugar CRM. Uh, you know, there's lots of different CRM systems that we're, we're starting to tie into. So um, if we don't have it today, you know, chances are we'll have it down, down the road or, or could easily put it in place if the demand is there. Now, tying this all together. So once again, you're going to see the slides the same thing. People come find you, the you know, organic search social media, through email, through advertising, so on and so forth, or you know, they've heard about your company, they, they go in. You know, the way it is right now on your website, go ask whoever handles your website or who, who you know, your webmaster or anybody like that and say, hey, can we identify who these people are that are coming to our website? You know, chances are they're going to say, yeah, we have no idea. So you have zero visibility into who are the institutional investors that are coming, who's retail investors, anything like that. You have no, you're flying blind. You put up a great website and you're not doing anything with it is really what it comes down to. You know, so before you got zero visibility, you got no insight, you're flying blind, and you really have no follow-up plan with any of these companies, right? So 
when someone comes to your website, engage with them, get, you know, get their contact information, send them an email, put them in your, in your CRM system. And, you know, when you do that, you go from zero visibility up to like 50% or more potentially visibility into who's coming to your website. You get to know who is this person, who's this company, who's the, who's the individual that's coming through my website, which broker's bringing the people in here, who's wanting to engage with my organization, which I tell you, once again, there are very few organizations, companies that are even doing one of these four steps. I'm going to guarantee you that most companies don't even, you very few do any of these steps or very, very, the vast majority do any of these steps. It's, it's incredible that you wouldn't be able to do it in this day and age. So, you know, take yourself into the, the new millennium basically, right? And just get going on this stuff. So here's what happens after, you know, you've seen this. Um, the great thing is now you're identifying who these visitors are. You're understanding who the individuals are. You know, before we had all this no visibility, no follow-up plan and stuff like that. You know, afterwards we start taking a look. It's, it's great. I got visibility. I know who's coming to my site. Got greater insight into who these individuals are. How many times are they coming back? What's going on? You know, can I put this information into a CRM system and, and understand, you know, how active this person is with my website? I can get notices to tell me, you know, Person XYZ, who's a broker with this institution, is on my website right now, and he's looking at this stuff, which now means I, I strike while the iron is hot so that I can get this individual in the door and entice him to get the investors here. Last but not least, like I say, follow-up plan. You know, It allows you to create a mechanism for uh, follow up on a fairly consistent basis with individuals. So, for example, you know, before if let's say you get a thousand visitors a month, you know, before you get zero percent visibility, you have zero opportunity here. Next, you know, let's just say through whatever means you use here, you start identifying up to thirty percent of who that traffic is on a monthly basis. Let's say a thousand visitors. That means like you have three hundred potential interactions with individuals that are coming through. So you're actually doing a pure what I deem to be investor relation um, uh, you know, play and doing it in a way that no one's ever you know, done before. So long story short, I've educated. You can start using you know, a, a, a chat software like Chat Beacon. And, and for example, you know, Chat Beacon is free for 30 days. You can put it up on your website free for 30 days. Engage with people, answer you know, answer questions when they come through to your website. Have your IR person or IR company do that sort of stuff, or you know what? I've got staff. Uh, I've got Canadians and Americans that can engage on your behalf using set questions. That uh, if someone asks a specific question, they can have an answer that comes directly from the company to answer that question. And if they can't answer it. All they have to do is take the name, email, phone number, and say someone will get back to you. Um, and uh, we've worked with different investment firms before um, on this sort of stuff, so they know how to handle it. So anyways, live chat, chat beacon. Give it to you free for 30 days to give it a try, even if you don't want to try any of this other stuff. We can put a package together that includes live chat, the email, the website visibility, and the CRM integration. And typically, you know, what we charge is $1,000 per month. But right now, we're doing an introductory for $750 per month for the first three months when anyone uses this sort of stuff. Just to give you an example, uh, just between the live chat and the email integration, just to get the software on a monthly basis is probably close to $600. Start throwing in the website visibility stuff. You're looking at about $750. And then the CRM integration, like no one does this sort of stuff. Um, so it's extremely, you know, the, 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 for the price here, you're going to get all this information. Plus on top of it, you're also going to get notices from, uh, from, from us to tell you, here's who's visiting your website, here's what's going on, all that stuff. It's all sent to you uh, on, a regular, on a regular basis, regular being uh, daily. Uh, or weekly if you want it, or monthly. Monthly is way too much, uh, way too long in between. I would suggest daily or uh, or weekly at least or every couple of days. So long story short, hey, you know what? This uh, The process to do this, 
pull it all together. It's a thousand dollars per month normally. I'm giving an empty directory on this one for seven fifty per month for the first three months. Even if you don't want to try any of that stuff there, I tell you my live chat. Put it up on your investor page. Uh, you can try it free for thirty days and just watch what happens. It's uh, it's incredible what you can get. So I hope you enjoyed all that. If you need to get a hold of me, it's Chris Hamilton. I, uh, I run a company, it's uh, uh, Stag Consulting. My main thing is sales tip a day, where I give out, uh, you know, well, it's supposed to be daily sales and marketing tips, but I am so busy that I get up there maybe four to five times a week. So it's almost daily sales tip a day. Uh, I say that tongue in cheek. Please feel free to reach out to me, chris at salestipaday.com, or you can reach me on my cell phone, 403-630-1243. And best way to get a hold of me, though, do it by email uh, or text me at 403-630-1243. And I will uh, be more than happy to walk you through all this stuff and uh, talk a little bit more about it. Thanks for viewing. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you for taking your time out on this one. And uh, you have yourself a great day.